What's up techies? I have UAG's new Magma Red case. This thing looks hot. I already like UAG cases, but this red just looks really freaking awesome to me. So I'm really looking forward to putting this on the Note 5. So let's go ahead and get this unboxed and put this thing on. So here it is. This is the Magma Red. It's a brand new color that they're offering for their phone cases. So here we go. Here is the Magma Red UAG case. This is very cool. Looks very awesome. I really like it. I would say that I would probably like this on a white Note 5 better than the black, but that's just a personal preference, but it's still gonna look really cool. So if you don't know, this is like a mix of materials. You got TPU, you got some hard plastic, polycarbonate kind of stuff. It's got some pretty cool elements that add to the protection, like these reinforced corners, which is very important for protective cases because a lot of drops do happen on the corners. And then it's got some nice little grips on the side. So it's going to get this put on and then we can see what it looks like and how you could actually use it with your phone. It's usually pretty simple to install. It just kind of snaps on in place and that's about it. All right, so here we are. Here's what it looks like with the black Note 5. Now it kind of turns it darker, of course, because the colors mix together. And that's why I say the white would probably look really cool with this because it would actually enhance the red instead of kind of dim it out. But this still looks really awesome to me. I really like UAG cases anyways. Some of the things that I like about a UAG case is what I mentioned before, the reinforced corners. The sides are nice and grippy. They feel really good. It feels like you can hold this without dropping it. And that's real important for a big device because sometimes they can be kind of hard to hold. Another thing I like about these cases is that the buttons are actually nice and clickable. They feel really nice and tactile. That's actually an element that I really like to look for in a case that the buttons must be easy to press. They can't be hard. If they're hard to press, I won't use the case. So let's zoom in a little bit and kind of let you get a better idea of what this thing looks like. You can see how there's like this little design on the inside. It's kind of like a honeycomb design. It's pretty neat. Then of these buttons and then these sides here add that extra grip that I was telling you about. You do get full access to your S Pen, so it's you know relatively easy to get. I actually don't really like the clicking for the S Pen. It's not UAG's fault at all, but to me it was easier when we could just pull it out with our finger versus having to press it and then find a way to pull it. There's been plenty of times where I've actually accidentally pressed this somehow and it was just kind of hanging out like that, so that kind of makes me nervous. But anyways, like I said, it's not UAG's fault. This is a Note 5 you know, S Pen flaw, I guess you could say. But you do have full access to it with this cutout. The headphone jack is gonna work well with most headphone head jack heads. The most chargers will be able to fit this as well. You got your microphone and then your speaker at the bottom. Then you just got some extra grips here on the side and as I said, you got those nice tactile buttons. The only flaw that I see with this case is that it's got a little crack here where the buttons are and that kind of lets some dust and dirt kind of sneak in every once in a while. So you do have to take the case off and clean out the inside. And that's really worrisome for like a Note 5 device because of the glass back. When it was a plastic back, it wasn't too much of a concern because you can't really scratch plastic, but you can definitely scratch glass. So that does kind of raise a little bit of concern for me. On the back, we have our cutout for our camera area and also our LED and heart rate sensor. What I like about this is that it's got a little slant here, so that way it makes it easy for your finger to rest there so you can get a nice read for your heart rate. But overall, this case looks really nice. Like I said, the only concern is that little crack between the buttons. Another thing to take note of is that it's raised above the screen, so that way if you do drop it on its face, it's gonna be protected. But it also protects the glass if you do wanna just rest your phone on a table, you're not gonna have to worry about that. Especially if you're not gonna be using a tempered glass screen protector. Which raises the other point I wanna bring up is that I am using a tempered glass screen protector with this and there's no interference with it whatsoever. So this is the new Magma Red case from UAG. Very cool stuff. I'll leave a link down below in the description of where you can find it. I like the case a lot. It's one of my go-to cases that I like to use. I think it's worth checking out. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to this channel for more Note 5 content. I'm looking forward to producing more Note 5 material. And until then, stay techy.